we're going to learn really quickly here how we can create a graphic file online for free. We've gone to a company called aviary.com and you just go there and create a free account and once you've done that, very easy to do, you come over and you click on image editor. And they're going to ask you, do you want to start from scratch or load an image file? We're going to say start from scratch. And then they're going to ask you the dimensions in pixels, how you want that. And since this is an example of how you create your Twitter background, we're going to highlight this and we're going to have it 1600 pixels wide and 1200 pixels tall. And for right now, we're going to leave the background color transparent. Say create. And we now have a canvas here that has the pixels across the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to import image files in here and then add in some text as well. So let's go up and let's do that. Let's file, import a file, and we're going to choose, we're going to browse, we're going to go to the desktop, choose a file, say upload the file, and there it is. Now obviously this is really big for what we want because we want the sidebar to be about 108 pixels, or just a little bit less. This is going to be the top of our sidebar. I'm going to click on it, and there's a transformation tool the second down, and it now highlights the edges. I'm going to hit the shift key while I do this, and I'm just going to drag it up. And that way, if I hit the shift key, it keeps it all intact in terms of its dimensions, and it doesn't distort it at all. And then I'm going to hit return. Easy. Now I may want to move that a little bit. I'm going to click on this, the Move tool, and then I can drag it like this, or I can hit those arrow keys on my keypad and shift it down just to the left, to the right, up and down a little bit. I'm going to move it down just a little bit right here, and I'm done with that. This is an easy way to import any of the graphics, logos, pictures, things like that, that you want to appear on the sidebar. Now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put a background color in here. And there's a tool here that looks like a paint bucket. I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the color that is in this swatch right here on top. There is white below and black above. So I can also change that color. I'm going to do that by coming down. I'm going to click in here. And then I can drag over here and I can put the marker into any color I want. And then within here, drag it within to the light, with the dark area. And you can see the color changing right here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to hit OK and the color has changed over here. Now I go back and I click on paint bucket. So I click that off. So anywhere in the background image I just click and automatically I fill. It's that easy. So we can create a background, we can add graphics, and the last thing we're going to want to do is add text. We'll click on the A here, the text tool, and what it shows up here is how the text is going to look depending on what font you pick. So I could change it here. I could change it to another one. I'm going to leave it as Arial. And then I can change how big or how small it is as well. Or I can just click in here. I'd recommend it being around 13 as the font size for what we're going to do. And then you could actually pick the color in a number of different ways too. I'm just going to pick white. I could have gone over here and I could have picked it any way I wanted to. I'm going to go back to white and click OK. Do I want to have it left justified, to the right, centered in the middle? We're going to say to the left, since it's going to go against the left-hand sidebar of our image. And then just start clicking anywhere in here. And I'm going to put domain.com. I'm going to highlight that now. And then I can do a number of different things. I can bold it. I can italicize it. I'm just going to leave it bolded. And then click on the Move tool. And now I can just drop it over here and move it. Now that we've created a file the right size, uploaded an image, changed the background color, added some text, you can keep playing with however you want that to look. Just make sure that it comes within that 108 or just a scooch shorter than that. And once you upload the file, you'll see how it looks 
directly on Twitter, and you'll come back to this and make a couple of tweaks and changes, and then upload it again. So now we want to save the image. It says here, you haven't saved yet. Sure, we'll say save as, then you could say Twitter background, and then say save as a new creation. You've now saved it. Now it gives you a number of different ways that you can access your image. Here's all these different URLs, and you could actually even have it be smaller size or the full size. You can click on any one of these and then just copy this, and you've got a URL to your image. We're going to want to not have a URL. We're going to want to have the actual file so we could have it on our computer and upload it to Twitter. So we go over here to File, Export Image. A dialog box comes up and says that we are on step one of three. The next step we want to do is generate image. Click on that. Now we're on step two of two and it says preparing creation. As long as there's that download button there, you can go ahead and click the download and it'll say where do you want to save it to? We'll say to the desktop and you can actually change the name on it and it automatically saves it as a ping file, which is exactly what we're going to want. I'm going to click Save, shows we're downloading, and we're done. We've actually exported the file that we created. Now what we're going to want to do is come over to Twitter. And here's an example of what the final product is and looks like live on Twitter. You can see we've got a really nice background here that promotes whatever we want it to promote and links that we want it to promote to. In order to do that, all we did, we came up here, we went to Settings, clicked on Design, scrolled down, and clicked on Background Image, Choose File. You choose that same file, and then come down here and say Save Changes. Now we also want to change other things. We want to change on the sidebar the color that you have. You can say change design colors right here. You can change the background. We're going to have a background our own color. You want to select a background color here that matches up pretty carefully. So all we do is click on it and then you can scroll all around until you get to the background color that you think looks exactly like what you want. Press done. What text color do you want here? Purple. Now you can see over here the headlines are actually getting purple. I don't want purple. I'm going to have black. I'm going to say done. Links. I want them to be green. And you can see over here the colors changing. And you can see the links up here on my account. All those are changing live. I'm going to have it be right about there. And click done. And then the sidebar area, you can see right there how it's changing. You just go and you could actually, I could have had it be green or yellow. I liked the blue. I'll leave it like that. So you can just see how everything that you want to do is really, really easy. You just click Save Changes. Come back home. And now we have it looking exactly like what we wanted it to be. This is just a great way that you do something once and then now everyone who comes to your profile is going to be able to see the extended information and the customization and the colors and the branding that you wanted.